Hello everyone, this is JC Mary Marata, your pre-service teacher. So, on the previous video, you have learned about the socio-political issues in the Philippine history. So, teacher Gurley discussed the first to fifth issues. And these include issues on violent elections, issues on federalism, the constitutional change, issues on political dynasty, and issues on human rights violation. So, in this video, we are going to continue discussing these socio-political issues in the Philippine history. Perennial MRT Issues The issue about MRT3 is an unstoppable one, but the MRT coach is stoppable. There has been an abundance of news report until now about glitches, accidents, and all sorts of problems and issues involving the Metro Rail Transit or MRT Line 3 that serves Adza Metro Manila's artery. Some of the issues and problems are a coach was detached from the train body, a diaper was hanging on the electric wire causing the train to stop operating, a door failed to close or open, overcrowding inside the coach, failure of the air conditioning system to function that resulted to passenger sweating, delay in the train's arrival to the destination, and all sorts of problems arising. The government officials, the train operators, maintenance personnel, and the country where the train was bought blamed each other for the train's failure to operate properly together with the many accidents brought by the MRT-3. The Manilans are not the only one affected by the train's glitches and mishaps. Even people from the province who go to Manila for one reason or another and took the MRT train hoping for a fast delivery are affected, especially if they are forced to walk along the track as a result of the train stoppage. The MRT or the Metro Rail Transit is able to carry a large number of people and is a lot faster or efficient. So when it is on mishap, well, it affects a lot of commuters, in, especially in Metro Manila since the MRT is in Metro Manila. So the public transport system is really affected. Issue on same-sex marriage same-sex marriage is the union between a couple of the same sex. It may be a union between both women or both men. Same-sex marriage is already allowed in some countries, particularly in the U.S. and in Europe. In the Philippines, it is not yet legalized. President Rodrigo Duterte said he was amenable to amending the law to allow same-sex marriage in the country. Same-sex marriage. Ang problema, we'll have to change the law. But we can change the law. Eh, ang batas kasi, marriage is a union between a man and a woman. I don't have any problems making it marrying a man, marrying a woman, or whatever is the predilection of the human being. Duterte's latest remark was contrary to his previous statement in March 2017. Duterte had cited the Family Code of the Philippines, which he said merely allows marriage between a man and a woman. At present, June 21, 2018, same-sex marriage issue is being heard by the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, President Duterte favored civil union than sex marriage. Same-sex marriage is an issue in our country, the Philippines, because our dominant religion is Roman Catholics or most of us are Christians. So, people believe that marriage is only for man and woman. But most debates are on political issues. It is often considered to let LGBTQ community to have civil union instead of marriage. So, it is not yet legalized in the Philippines, but most countries, especially in the Europe or US, they legalized same-sex marriage, but in the Philippines, most politicians or in political things, they consider civil union over same-sex marriage. Issue on intellectual property violation 
Intellectual property refers to those written documents or sources which are produced by the owner's mental ability and skills. When these properties are copyrighted and thereafter plagiarized or copied, reproduced or sold for profit by someone without the copyright owner's permission, a violation of the copyrights law is committed. Some students copy from books, journals, and magazines to form part of their term paper and research projects. Likewise, some wise instructors sell photocopied books as handouts to their students for profit, a violation of the copyright law. Today, the Philippines is trying to hit intellectual property rights issues head-on, but in a different way. The focus lately has been on the implementation of a new IP rights legislation in order to protect the results obtained in laboratories that are funded by the government. The Philippine Technology Transfer Act of 2009 actually was released in May 2012. The result is that research and development institutions that are running their laboratories are now granted intellectual ownership of the results provided the research has been funded by the government. This is to protect the potential exploitation of the efforts made by the individual scientists. So there are already laws and articles that include intellectual property rights violation. So it is important that we acknowledge the inte intellectual property of an individual to avoid committing intellectual property rights infringement or plagiarism and that's why in most classes research papers we have to uh, include all the references where we got the information because the information or the content is not purely yours so you must credit it to the owner or the and its intellectual property backlog of court cases the administration of justice by the court is such a delicate and serious task and not an ordinary chore of business. Passing judgment upon a person involving their rights and fortunes, determining their innocence and guilt that may even affect their lives, honor and freedom are of such grave responsibility of the courts. In the administration of justice, there is no assurance that all justices and judges will discharge duties of their of office impartially and free from pressure and influence because the legal qualifications of the justices and judges are not God-given. Some of them may be subservient to one administration after another or cater to the influence of one litigant after another, which might affect the independence of the judiciary. One example of this was the co waranto case against the former SC Chief Justice Lourdes Ferreno. According to her, the decision of many of the Supreme Court justices was under the influence of the president. One significant issue that has plagued the courts of justice ever since is the court's backlog of cases. According to the report of the National Statistical Coordination Board, the Philippine judiciary faces serious difficulties in addressing case backlogs as lower courts are congested with over a million cases every year. Lower courts are continuously confronted with heavy volume of caseloads due to lack of judges to litigate the cases, transfer and illness of judges, too many postponement of cases, delaying tactics of either prosecutors or defense lawyers, and availability of the respondents to appear personally in courts, resignation of judges, and other reasons. Backlog of court cases happens because of the delay or the pending cases in the court for a very long period of time. So it is because due to different reasons or many reasons. This may include inefficiency, incompetence of lawyers, or judges or unavailability of judges and corruption among officials so it must be um, given priority so that people will experience a more reliable and effic efficient or faster service in the 
Issue on Jail and Prison Congestions The country's jails are overcrowded by 51.1% according to the Commission on Audit report in 2017. In its annual audit report released, COA noted that the number of inmates increased by 30,544 from 2015. As of December 31, 2016, the BJMP has a total jail population of 126,946, which exceeded the total ideal capacity of 20,746, having a variance of 106,200 or a total average of 511% of congestion or overcrowding or clogging, the report said. The COA said the overcrowding in the country's district jails, city jails, municipal jails, extension jails, and female dormitories violates BJMP's own manual on habitat, water, sanitation, and kitchen in jails, as well as the United Nations minimum standard rules for the treatment of prisoners. Under the BJMP manual, the ideal habitable floor area for each inmate is 4.7 square meters while the ideal maximum number of inmates per cell should only be 10. The COA noted that the congestion in jails is not only a social and political issue but is resulting in health and sanitation problems and increased gang affiliation of inmates. Because of such overcrowding, many inmates got sick and a few died of illness and contamination. Others escape due to the inconvenience they are experiencing. Other issues related to overcrowding are selling and using of prohibited drugs inside the prison cell, hiding of dangerous weapons and explosives, sex orgies, keeping of mobile phones and other prohibited devices. These issues and concerns have been going on ever since and no way that will stop the inmates because of the connivance of some prison guards and BJMP officials. At this time, 2018, former PNP chief and now director of the Bureau of Prisons is very strict in enforcing the BJMP law because he is the only one SIGA in the jails. So jail and prison congestions in the Philippines is also an issue because many jails and prisons are overcrowded so detainees and prisoners are suffering and experiencing uncomfortable places to sleep or spaces or areas to sleep and they are suffering with many illnesses and disease because of overcrowdedness.